Got an exam question here all about amino acids. So if you wanted to have a go at this first, the link to the PDF is in the description for the video. So just download it, have a go, and then watch for the answers. So part A, the first thing we've got to do is in the boxes, draw the organic products for the reaction of serine. So they've given us serine there, and it's reacting with three different things, um, H plus, an alcohol, and some sulfuric acid and an excess of an acyl chloride, so that's ethanoyl chloride, going horizontally there. So we'll start with the H+. So the H+, can obviously um, add on to this part here, the amino group. So basically, that's just going to become an NH3 plus group. Everything else will just stay the same. We'll do this one now. So we've got alcohol and sulfuric acid. So it's obviously going to react with the carboxylic acid group and form an ester. So we're going to get an ester forming here. Now technically we have got H plus ions present. So an H plus ion from the sulfuric acid could also go on here just like it did there. So I'll show that but I know in the mark scheme it wasn't essential to do that. So like I said, we don't have to do that. That could literally just be an NH2 group and you'd still get that mark. So finally, the reaction of um, ethanoyl chloride with uh, serine. It can actually react in two parts. That's why they've said excess. It can react with the alcohol and form an ester group. And it can also react with this part here, the amine group, and form an amide. So I'll just draw the structure up and then you can see what it would look like. Okay, so for the final part of the question, we've got to work out which of the four amino acids that was in the original table, 17.1, was used in the titration. I always draw, and I always encourage my students to draw a little diagram of the process. It makes it much easier to see what's happened. So they've taken 5.766 grams of the amino acid, dissolved it in some distilled water, put it into a volumetric flask, 250 cm cubed, and made it up to the to the mark. Now for this titration, this solution has gone into the burette. We know that 21.3 cm cubed of the amino acid was needed to neutralize 25 cm cubed of 0.15 moles per decimeter cubed HCl. Okay, so before we go any further, just need to establish um, how the amino acid is going to react with the HCl. So if we, we'll just call the amino acid RNH2 because it's the NH2 group that's going to react uh, with the acid. It's reacting with HCl. That's got one proton, monoprotic. So basically, that's going to accept that H plus from the HCl and you're going to get RNH3 plus. And obviously a Cl minus ion. The important thing there is it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Right, we'll get into the calculation then. So the first thing we can work out is the moles of HCl, concentration times volume, 0.15 times the 25 cm cubed, but it's got to be in dm cubed, 0.025. And that comes out at 3.75 times 10 to the minus 3. So because of that one-to-one -one ratio I've just explained, that means that in this 21.3 cm cubed amino acid, there's also that many moles. So now we know that, what we can do is we can scale up to how many moles of the amino acid must have been in the volumetric flask and therefore also in that 5.766 grams. So the way we do that is we need to divide the 3.75 times 10 to the minus 3 moles by the volume, 21.3, and then multiply that up to 250. And that gives us 0.044 moles. So from that information, we can work out the MR of the amino acid. So MR is mass over moles. So those 5.766 grams contain 0.044 moles. So that's given us an MR of 131 grams per mole. And of course, this is an alpha amino acid. So it has to contain the essential part of an alpha amino acid, so a C with an H on, a COOH and an H2. 
we've just got to work out what the MR of the R group is, and then we can work out what the amino acid was. So the essential part of the alpha amino acid has a, an MR of 74. So if we subtract 74 from the 131, so 131 minus 74, we can find out that the MR of the R group is 57. So then all we need to do is go to the table and work out which R group has an MR of 57 and the answer is leucine.